Hey everyone, today I have an updated review and a wear and tear and what's in my bag of the YSL Lou camera bag. I mentioned this in my recent tag video, if I had $10,000 to spend on bags for my entire life, um, this was one of the few crossbody uh, and the only YSL bags that I listed. I've had this for about four or five months now and it is in still excellent condition. Show the corners, it doesn't really show any signs of wear which is where, you know, where that would be, right there in the corners. It's still pretty new. There's really no scuff marks. The bottom is, is still really smooth. It's still really soft. And then, you know, um, th this is what would rub against my side uh, while I'm wearing it. It doesn't have any scuff marks, pretty much. It's still really clean. And because it's a darker color, it there's no color transfer. Hardware, again, this is it's not a shiny hardware. It's not a polished, shiny hardware. It's like a brassy, tarnished looking hardware. So it still looks the same as it did because it already kind of looked a little old. Um, I will link the video where I reviewed this and showed how to change out the zipper pull. This is the keychain ring that I used to attach this tassel to the zipper pull um, so that it's not up and around on the strap. The one thing I would advise about storing this is you see how the tassel is kind of bent. <laughs> so when I store this on my shelves, you know, uh, you have to you should really be careful um, when you put this away to make sure that this is stored straight, the tassel, because it's, you know, it's genuine leather. It's 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 pretty malleable because when I when I pulled it um, from my shelf just now, it, re it was really curved like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you kind of just, but then it goes back into shape. So you can even, you can see even now it's kind of going back. See, it's good there. There you go. So it's straight now. So just be careful when you put it away to make sure this, the tassel is straight. So I'll show the inside. There it is. The interior is still very clean. Again, um, and I'll show you what I, what I fit in here and what I usually carry, what, fit, what this uh, bag fits inside. The opening is pretty generous because the zipper goes all the way around to the sides here. It stops about oh, know, maybe a quarter way on the sides. And when I keep things inside, I don't have lots of loose things rolling around. I do keep my things, you know, pretty contained. And so that um, keeps the interior clean. Well, I'll show you what fits and what I typically carry. So this is my Agenda PM. Um, I try to carry this with me all the time unless I have a super tiny bag and it you can see it's pretty full So I have that here And I keep things upright when I put things inside the bag This is my newest Louis Vuitton mini pochette and I'll link the video where I unbox this below in my whole ordering process This is kind of my catch-all and my essentials pouch where I keep you know my essentials So real, real quick I'll show you what's inside. <laughs> so I have a little Advil container uh, press powder there's a little hand cream there, mints, and I keep my Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim per uh, perfume sample, and then I have a full-size Marc Jacobs lip gloss. Oh, look how pretty that lining is. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's like a Tiffany blue, um, so I keep that in here. So I keep this. I keep this pochette inside here. And again, I keep it upright, so that fits right in there, upright next to the agenda. So this um, inside slip pocket, it's pretty big, um, wide, it's pretty wide. It's a flat pocket, but what I keep in there is my Chanel Croc Embossed O case. And this is kind of my mini wallet. Um, I have my cards, cash in here, receipts. I just kind of throw everything in there. So that actually fits very snugly right in the pocket there, in the slip pocket. So this way I have my money, I'm not digging around my my purse, so that fits in there. Um, my phone. So this unfortunately doesn't stand upright in the purse. I mean, it does, but then you can't close it. You see right there, it's kind of just shy of being able to close it. So I do have to keep this sideways, but if you have a smaller phone, you could definitely keep it upright. LV six key holder. I'm gonna keep that standing upright next to my pochette. And then I have my sunglasses, and I keep this in a soft case. Okay, so there you go. So you can see it's pretty full. It looks like it doesn't close, but it will close because these corners are rounded. <laughs> so there's the my little you know Chanel O-case wallet in the slip pocket, my mini pochette, and it's pretty fully loaded with just my essentials, uh, my agenda, Louis Vuitton agenda PM. I have my Louis Vuitton six key ring, and then my um, key sunglasses in a soft case. 
So that all fits. And I, you know, again, try to keep it standing upright. Oh, and my phone. And there you go. So this all fits really nicely inside. And it's easy to open because I have my DIY zipper pull here. I'll link the video below where I showed how to attach the tassel to the zipper pull, but it's using a bunch of these key rings, if I didn't mention that already. So that's, an Amaz that's on Amazon. Um, I'll link that also below. So I'll show you what it looks like on. Okay, so this is it on. It's, this hits right below my hips. And this is what it looks like on, standing on my tippy toes, <laughs> so I can get it in camera. So that is the Lou camera bag. Um, that's just my updated review showing the wear and tear, which is pretty much none at this point, five, five months, about four or five months after owning it, there really isn't that much wear and tear. Again, I'll link the videos where I showed this before. This retails for $11.50, and I think it's a pretty great deal because it's, considering its size, it holds a lot. So um, this is what I typically carry in here. I really maximize the space. So let me know if you have any other questions and hope you enjoyed this video and hope you have a great day. Bye.